go ahead and get started with a look at the forecast, guys. Like I said, in the last hour, it is Monsoon Awareness Week, and today we are focusing in on flash flooding. So in the last half hour, we talked about what to do during a flash flood watch. Well, now I want to focus in on what to do during a flash flood warning. This basically means we need to act now. You need to get to higher ground immediately. Forget about the personal property. Do not try and pack up camp or get everything you want out of the car. You do not have time for that during a flash flood warning. And do not cross swollen streams. A large chunk of the deaths that we have due to flash flooding are vehicle related. People driving through water, being swept away in the vehicle. This is the number one thing. Please turn around, don't drown. That's one thing we always say to you guys, but it still continues to be a problem. So, again, flash flood warning. When you see warning, that word warning, that means you need to move now. Whether it's a flash flood warning, severe thunderstorm warning, it's, it's happening now. So, we'll continue to uh, give you these little reminders today. Like I said, is that we're focusing in on the flash flooding. It'll be something different as we get into Tuesday. Hey, our temperatures across the state, not bad. When it comes to today's forecast, really, not a whole lot going on. Day planner quiet here in the metro. We'll get into the 90s this afternoon. Sunshine overhead. Breezy conditions returning today. Those winds will be out of the west southwest at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Pretty much the only concern I have today will be the storms and showers that we have near that northern state line, specifically the northeastern corner here. This is where we have the possibility of some of those storms turning strong to severe. We have the slight risk posted for parts of Union County. That's the yellow color. A possibility of some scattered severe storms. Marginal risk, that dark green, isolated severe storms. Everybody else on the other side of the state, it's not going to be a whole lot. If we do see some storms, we'll be on the drier side anyways, but I don't expect severe weather up across the Four Corners area. That will pretty much be pushed along that northeastern corner. And then getting into tomorrow, drier, but slightly cooler. A couple degrees difference. That's about it. But don't get used to those cooler temperatures because by this weekend, we will likely get close to our first 100 degree day here in the metro. And there's a lot of us even looking at triple digits starting this afternoon. So we'll take it closer to home, southern Colorado, looking at a partly sunny sky this afternoon with a handful of storms possible. Our temperatures, mid to upper 70s, 75 in Durango today. Northwest, partly sunny with a few. Thunderstorms possible. Again, these will be the dry variety, but you'll notice those temperatures, nothing to worry about. Low to mid 80s, pretty pleasant actually by the numbers today and tomorrow. Southwest, sunshine to start, more cloud cover this afternoon. Breezy conditions and high temps, pretty much split in the 80s and 90s. Southeast, hot. That's pretty much all you got to worry about. It is going to be a scorcher this weekend as we look to see those triple digits from now all the way into Sunday afternoon. Northeastern Plains, we're going to be looking at some spotty storms today. Again, those could be strong to severe. Windy conditions and high temps in the 80s and 90s. Northern Mountains, spotty storms also possible in your area. High temps in the 70s and 80s. Santa Fe at 82 today, but we'll be in the 90s over the weekend. East Mountains, some spot storms possible. Breezy conditions this afternoon. Edgewood looking at 83. Low 80s tomorrow. Back to those upper 80s to finish the work week. And the metro looking at high temps in those 90s underneath that partly sunny sky and breezy conditions this afternoon. Seven day forecast shows a little bit of a cool off tomorrow, but we'll get right back to those 90s Wednesday. And 90s is where we're going to stay for the rest of the work week and weekend. So at this point, Father's Day looks great, but we are going to be battling a lot of heat heading our way. So make sure you're doing everything you can to take care of yourself and take care of those pets. You've got to. And yeah, it's such a such so much heat that you have to make sure that you're taking care of it. Gotta get used to it. All right, Kristen, thanks. Still mm -hmm. to come, we have